Hi everybody, welcome to on Math Max tutorial. Today we have seen amazing integration example and today example is integration dx upon 1 plus sin x and we can find the solution by using three methods. Okay, which method is better for this example? Please comment below this section and now let's do start first method 1. Yes, okay, method 1 let i is equal to integration dx upon 1 plus sin x and now I can here multiple on both numerator and denominator by 1 minus sin x and divided by 1 minus sin x ok. Then this integration becomes as 1 minus sin x and 1 plus sin x and 1 minus sin x then this become 1 minus sin square x and dx but here we know that 1 minus sin square x is equal to cos square x yes okay therefore this integration becomes as 1 minus this is the sin x and divided by cos square x bracket complete and dx now we can air this separate this uh, function then we get the integral i is equal to integration this is 1 by cos square x we can write as and then minus sin x and divided by this is also again cos square x and dx ok. Therefore, this integration becomes as 1 by cos square x that means this is the sec square x minus sin x upon cos x single yes ok. Therefore, we can write this is the tan x into 1 upon cos x again that means this is the sec x and bracket complete dx. Therefore, now uh, we can find now the integration by separately therefore integration sec square x dx then minus integration tan x into sec x and dx therefore integration of sec square x is equal to tan x minus tan integration of tan x into sec x is equal to sec x plus c and this is the solution for the method one yes yes okay now we start the method second okay yes therefore method second let i is equal to given integration dx upon this is 1 plus sin x now i can use here sin x is equal to we know that 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 here I can use the double angle formula sin 2x is equal to we know that 2 sin x into cos x and divided by 2 divided by 2 divided by 2 and we get sin x is equal to 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2. Therefore, i is equal to this integration becomes as ok plus this is 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 yes got it ok and here uh, use the 1 to becomes identity we know that the sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 but I here use the half angle formula so this equation becomes we can write as cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 is equal to also 1 therefore this integral becomes cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 yes okay and also here consider here 1 and here dx ok. Now, this integral becomes as integration and also one can here put the uh, one replace the value as cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 therefore, this integral becomes as cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 and divided by this whole term this is cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 plus 2 times sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 and dx ok. Now, here we observe this is the complete square of the term i is equal to integration this is the cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 we are getting two factors yes ok and second is one cos x by 2 plus 
sin x by 2 yes and divide by this is the also cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 square yes okay this is the complete s square okay and now here we observe this is the one term is cancel and one term is remaining therefore i is equal to integration here cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 and divided by also this is cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 and dx yes okay now we can here uh, divide by throughout by cos x by 2 numerator and denominator then this term we get 1 minus this is tan x by 2 and divide by 1 plus this is we get tan x by 2 and dx here we know that the related formula for the tan x by 2 this term can be as arranged as tan x by 2 we can this is tan pi by 4 minus tan x by 2 and divide by this is 1 uh, 1 plus here get tan pi by 4 into tan x by 2 and these are the related formula for the tan pi by 4 minus x by 2 okay and that means this is the simplification of this term as tan pi by 4 minus x by 2 then we get the solution final as here observe i is equal to integration this is the tan pi by 4 minus x by 2 bracket complete dx yes okay and we know that the integration of tan x dx is equal to ln sec x plus c yes okay therefore this integration becomes as ln sec x that means this is pi by 4 minus x by 2 and plus c okay this is the constant of integration and the derivative of this term okay pi by 4 minus x by 2 that means this is the derivative minus 1 by 2 we get therefore we can write minus 2 ln this is the sec pi by 4 minus this is the x by 2 and plus c is the constant of integration okay and this is the method second solution yes got it now we start the method third okay therefore let i is equal to integration dx upon 1 plus sin x i can here simplify this term 1 plus sin x as this is the 1 is equal to this is the cos square x by 2 plus this is the sin square x by 2 plus sin x is equal to they replace the value this is 2 sin half angle formula 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 okay we know all the sin double angle formula this is the 2 sin x into cos x here i can t divided by 2 divided by 2 and divided by 2 and we get the formula 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 and this related one this is the sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 we know that the identity and this is divided throughout by 2 yes okay and we get this formula yes okay and therefore this is the simplification we can write as uh, cos x by 2 plus this is the sin x by 2 and bracket square yes okay and therefore this integration becomes as we can write the dx upon cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 and bracket square now i can divide numerator and denominator by cos square x by 2 yes okay therefore this integration becomes we can write we can divide by throughout cos square x by 2 both numerator and denominator okay that means this is cos x by 2 this is sin x by 2 and divided by this is the cos x by 2 and bracket square and this integration becomes as simplification 1 by cos square x by 2 that means this is the sec square x by 2 and divide this term becomes as 1 plus the tan x by 2 bracket square and now I here use the substitution method we know that the derivative of tan x by 2 here present sec square x by 2 therefore here substitute therefore here substitute t is equal to 1 plus tan x by 2 then here we get the derivative uh, dt this is 1 by 2 this is sec square x by 2 and dx therefore we get to here get transfer to dt and this is sec square x by 2 and dx 
and now this integration becomes as we can write the integration 2 dt upon this is the uh, 1 plus tan x by 2 we can put here t that means this is we get t square okay now these are the simple integral becomes and then we can find the solution yes okay i is equal to 2 integration this is t square in we get numerator part t raised to minus 2 and dt therefore we get the integration t raised to minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 and plus c is the constant of integration okay and therefore this is minus 2 and this we get term t raised to minus 2 plus c and therefore minus 2 upon this is t plus c is the constant of integration okay and now we are back put okay therefore now back put t is equal to 1 plus tan x by 2 then this integration we can write as minus 2 1 plus this is tan x by 2 and plus c is the constant of integration and this is the solution for the third method okay if you like this video share subscribe my channel thank you for watching bye bye yes